So one of the most common things we've heard from the community is that they want to play with friends who don't own a virtual reality headset. If you couldn't play the game before, well, now you can engage with it, so that's exciting. And we're going to bring everybody together to play Star Trek Bridge Crew. So this update adds support for uh, Windows Mixed Reality headsets, so there will be some more players to join our community. But the big change is that we're adding support for non-VR players. So first of all, I'm hoping that players will, who haven't been able to play the game before will now have the opportunity to engage with it because they don't have the VR requirements and not everybody was ready to jump into VR. So we've removed that barrier, which is exciting. At its heart, Bridge Crew has always been a social experience about bringing people together to fly a starship. And now we've removed one of the barriers to that. But even better is the fact that the players who do own the game or pick up the game will be able to play together with their friends, right? The game is such a social experience. It's about being on the bridge with your friends, preferably. And now, no matter what platform you have, VR or non-VR, you're going to be able to get on the bridge and play together. Now you can bring those friends together, and you can all play Star Trek Bridge Crew. We mix virtual reality and non-virtual reality and cross-platform play so everyone can play Bridge Crew together. For existing Bridge Crew players, there are some new features. Uh, we have some graphical enhancements that were created for, specifically for non-VR, but if you have a high-end PC, you can enable these features and get an even more graphically impressive experience in virtual reality. We do have some additional cool things coming for Star Trek Bridge Crew beyond this non-VR update. Uh, we're not quite ready to announce them yet, but we believe players will be really excited when we do. So stay tuned.